those who are religious or spiritual, those of us who are not, who are familiar with these scriptures, it talks about although we walk in the valley of the shadow of death, we fear no evil. Of course, if you do not feel or you do not fear evil, then you would not need a gun. You would not need locks for your car. You would not need a knife. You would not even raise your fist because there's nothing that you fear. But of course that would be a very foolish and naive also you are living in denial type statement because we live in the valley of the shadow of death and we do fear evil and it is natural for us to fear evil anything that threatens our life to put ourselves as we talked about in earlier video live streams to put ourselves in an in a, in a better environment would help but even though we are in a better environment we are still in a place where something could happen to us because that's just life we are living in an unnatural environment where these things we are exposed to these things in an irregular manner. What brings me to this topic was a news story, a video gone viral on the internet. I, I normally don't talk about uh, the, these news stories, this violence, because it's normal. I'm not a news broadcaster. If I was a news broadcaster, every story, we want to comment on every murder, every rape that goes on. I'm not about that. We should want to change the environment. We should want to change ourselves. We should want to change these things. So we won't have to talk about such. I want to just give my two cents on a incident I heard it's in Chicago it's in Chicago a very violent place so they say I've been to Chicago many times I never had problems I had relatives that live in Chicago they never had problems but Chicago now has a reputation of being like some type of um, Iraq or something like that I believe Spike Lee made a movie called it Chirac, something to that effect or whatever. It's become or has the reputation of being a very dangerous place. <clears throat> the incident involves a sister, a mother, at a, some type of takeout restaurant place and her son was there and this man it's hard to call him a brother, but it's a man, a little short, little slim man or whatever. And when we see the video, he's hollering and screaming at the sister and threatening bodily, bodily harm. Not only does he threaten bodily harm, but he actually carries it out. I don't know why the, the young son the child, a uh, young man, uh, what is he, 14, I believe, also? The mother's giving orders to, to shoot this, this, this person that's attacking her. And the son has no problems and kills this, this man. Now, when I first saw the story, I was listening to 
one of those ex-rappers or whatever his name is, Damien Dash, and they was talking about it. And it's amazing how the black woman is always attacked real quick. And her thug son. And she's getting her, her son is going to go to prison and she's going to go to jail and they feeling sorry for this man that punched this woman. I saw no sign that she was trying to hurt him or, and if she said something it was very low, but he was agitated. I want to remind you of something. While some of you are feeling sorry because this man is dead. You can kill a person with your bare hands. And I watch him, how he hit that woman. You can kill a person with your bare hands. So they are thinking about the sister going to jail for uh, juvenile delinquency, I guess, or whatever, because this man was, uh, 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 her son shot this man, and of course, the young boy is going to the juvenile system and he's going to... Well, the the charges was dropped. The case was dismissed. And myself knowing a little bit about the law, I saw a case of self-defense. That's what I saw. I saw a son defending his mother. That's what I saw. And it makes no difference what the skin color is. Again, this was self-defense. You can kill somebody with your bare hands. What I saw was this man, he was enraged, and he sounded like a woman hater. And there are many on YouTube, tons, thousands. I saw a man who's a woman hater. I saw a man that was small in stature. He looked like He suffered what they call it from the, the short man syndrome. I got to prove a point. I got to show I'm tough all the time. I don't care who it is. I got to make this point. And I was listening. We listening to the video. Uh, nobody. They take out the cameras to film this. Nobody is saying, hey, bro, you need to slow your roll. You need to stop. Hey, y'all need to Hey, stop this. We're used to the environment of terror. We're used to the environment. Everything is entertainment. It's like going to the movies, except it's in real life. This was the last movie this man is going to star in. There's nothing good about it. The sister and her son traumatized. Nobody thinking about something like this is going to happen in your life. It's a case of self-defense. I'm This young man, I don't know why he has a gun or, or whatever, but this was a case of self-defense. And really, it's embarrassing to, it should, you should feel embarrassed as a black man, as a soul brother. We should feel embarrassed. This was not necessary. Who the hell are you trying to show for? Why we, why we never show this kind of anger and hate Towards those who really cause us harm. We never do. I made an earlier video. Speaking about Dr. King. And this soul sister. I say that lightly. This black woman. Stabbed Dr. King. Why we don't have this type of feeling. Toward why. And these pro blackity black type folks. Who are non-violent. You don't see this. Where's your anger and your hatred. Even their words, they are very, very careful, especially on the internet. They are very careful how, how they talk because it was a sister. What's her name? I think it was Dr. Dr. Mayat or whatever her name. She understands, and you notice, she's very careful in how she talks now. But where is this hatred and anger that we have so much towards ourselves than those who really cause us harm? Even in our family, we would go off on our mama. I know I did it. I'm guilty because I know I did it. 
I was tough with my, my siblings. I was tough with my mama. But when it came to people in the street, my ass was a little punk. I was a little funky sissy. Getting my ass whooped up and down the street. Getting kicked in the ass. That was me going down the street. What's wrong with us? What's wrong with us? We have a, a serious problem here. And when I heard this story also, it reminded me of myself because as a small boy, my father, I, I say that lightly, my daddy, sperm donor thing, whatever, he, whatever he, it is, he's no, no man. Picked on my mother. Always fighting my mother. Had I a gun. He would have been dead. And in my generation. Especially in my generation. You don't hurt mama. That's a no no. All this stuff. If you. All these woman hating. Channels and people that's out here. If you brought that, I don't care. We don't care if mama wrong. We don't care if mama right. You don't hurt mama. You ain't slandering mama. Don't talk about my mama. Those fighting words. In 2023, these sissy boys, these pathetic weak, supposed to be, supposed to be alpha males, make all these videos, talk about somebody's mama because... The women you talk about is somebody's mama. If we turn back the hands of time and we went back to my generation, you get your ass whooped by mama's son, by mama's uncle, by the male mama's cousins. You get your ass whooped. Don't mess with my mama. That's how it was in my generation. We don't give a damn. Now, if mama wrong, we straighten that out later. We straighten that out among ourselves. Mama, you know you're wrong. I still love you, blah, blah, blah. But you're not going to come out in the public and talk about my mama. Even the most scariest guy. No, don't. Don't talk about my mama. And men get jealous over that. Don't you understand that she is mama? She carried us in her womb. She gave us her breast or maybe she gave us a plastic baby bottle she wiped our backside she's we're close we're close to mama more than daddy there's nothing daddy can do that can take place of mama mama can take care take the role of a of a father because father don't carry baby father you just cannot compare. That's my mama. And see the thing about it. If you get mama. To love daddy. Now everything. Is tight. Everything is in balance. Your problem is. You don't know how to get her to love you. Because you're not doing right by her. If you did right by her and you tighten up that bond, we all in this together. You're not right by her because you're not protecting her. You're not providing all the things that you talk about. You're not even doing. You worrying about putty tat, getting you some booty instead of being the warrior you claim that you are. Getting the resources, getting the respect. Make these other men, you mess with her, you got a problem. Don't mess with my mama. Even when you're 50 years old, don't mess when you're 60, 70. Don't mess with my mama. And we have lost that. In fact, these men have made an enemy of her. That's a damn shame. You're not gonna, we're not gonna get ourselves together till you respect your mama. As far as I'm concerned, that young man did right. And too, unfortunately, that fella had to pay with his life.